The padded hip belt. I'm gonna show you how to attach it, and then we're gonna talk about why and when you should use it, and when you shouldn't use it. So it comes, it's based on the Molly system, okay? That means that you're gonna use the webbing on this piece here, and you're gonna web it through the side of your ruck, okay? So the first thing that you wanna do is say, hey, here's my ruck, how do I want this to go? Okay, because if you do it the wrong side, trust me, I've seen it, then that's not as good. So you say, okay, cool. This piece is gonna go here, okay? So you just line it up. You have to flip this over like this, okay? Now you're, you're ready to do your weave. You're starting here. This goes through here first. Then you come in through this webbing right here. Okay, good. Then you come through this one, pull it all the way. Come through the webbing on the actual hip belt. Again, we're doing the same thing over and over. Through the webbing here, and then you're gonna tuck this in to the side or into the actual hip belt itself. So there's no, nothing's loose. That's not going anywhere. That will not fail. Let me show you what I've seen a lot of. So this would be on the other side, okay? This is what not to do. What I've seen before is people show up and these things are flapping all over the place, okay? That's not the goal. It needs to be secure. This, the, the idea that you just take this and go through all of them, this is what not to do, okay? It will not hold, it will not do what you intend this thing to do, which is to disperse some load onto your hip. I see that, and then someone shoves that in there, and it's, and it's they're, they're like, oh, but it's good. Well, actually, it's not good. You see how there's that huge space right there? That doesn't work. On this side, look how I set it up correctly. On this side, if I disconnect this, you see it a little bit better. This side, there, there's no space. It's pulling from all three of those, those webbing pieces right there. It's not going anywhere. I mean, you can, like look, you can lift the entire bag up. And this is, it's got, I don't know, 45 pounds in it or so. It's not going anywhere. This side, like, I couldn't even get it anywhere. So again, so you don't have to rewind your, your uh, video if you want to watch it in, in slow-mo. So let me make sure that I'm, Got this on the, so this is the, out, the outcome that I want. So I reverse it. This is lying out flat like that. Now I just weave it in through here, pull it all the way, go through here on the actual padded hip belt. Pull it all the way. Then I go through the second one. Pull it all the way. Go through, the, go through this one on the padded hip belt. Then I hit that, that third and final piece of, of webbing on the actual ruck and then I make sure that I tuck it in like that, okay? So this way you've got a fully functional padded hip belt, it's, it's good to go. Now, why and when you should use this, this is different than a waist belt, okay? It's different than a waist belt from the standpoint of, if you've got this, okay, you've got a sternum strap set up, that's cool. You know, on the front, it'll help disperse some of the load forward. But the hip belt's intent is for you to be able to take the load of the ruck and put it onto your, your hips, your hip bones, which are large muscles, okay? So sometimes for some of you, that'll mean that you need to actually lower the ruck. What you don't wanna do, if you're expecting this to be a hip belt, you can't do this. This is now just a waist belt. You should not use it like this unless you're doing bear crawls or something like that and you don't want the ruck to go anywhere, right? As it's properly intended, the way that you use this is you need to, to lower the ruck so that it's actually around your, your hip bones. Like if, you, if you've got a belt on or something like that, you can see here, it'll, it'll be like this, right over the top of your, your hip bones. And then you cinch it down all the way. Now, the goal of this is that it reduces, it reduces the shoulder carry. And by that, I mean the way that this is meant to be is that, I'm gonna take that off so it doesn't strangle me. But if, if you take your shoulder pads off, the ruck needs to basically be suspended from your, your hip bones right here. Now, this is a really classic way that the hiking market views rucksacks, is that they don't prioritize the shoulder carry as much. They say that you should use your entire lower body for all movement, to, to bear all the, the weight from your ruck. The military takes a different perspective because a lot of times you have things like guns and ammunition on your front that don't allow you to carry things, or sorry, that don't allow you to strap anything over the front of your body. So the military has said, hey, 
we need to focus on shoulder carries. Now, at Go Ruck, we've obviously taken the shoulder carry and said, hey, we want to build the best shoulder straps on the market, so we do. But th the accessory of the padded hip belt, over the course of a longer event, it allows you to, to take some of the load off of your shoulders and transfer it to your lower body via the padded hip belt. So in essence, you're able to smoke one part of your body and then smoke a different part of your body. It allows the one part to rest while the other part is bearing more of the, the weight. So that's when you would want to use it. You don't really need this at low weights. So if you're just getting started rucking and you're thinking, hey, I want 20 pounds or something in my ruck, you don't need this with 20 pounds. It's just not, it's not what you need. You're used to carrying that on a day-to-day -day basis, even if you don't know it. So with this, it's a good tool to have, especially for longer events. And just make sure that you set it up correctly. You see a lot of mistakes out there. So rewatch from the beginning, do it right, and know when you need to use it and when you don't. Basically, long events, yeah, nice to have. Shorter events or 20 pounds, maybe even 30 pounds, not a big deal. You can get, you can get all that done with a shorter carriage.